And again, you shed the coat early, and I know why. You were out there on the floor coaching. <laughs> you were lobbying with the officials. And it really, a microcosm of the season. You come in, you lose a starter, DJ Harvey. You're shorthanded again. Some stretches of tough shooting, but your guys battled. And again, you had a chance to win it down the stretch. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I want to start by thanking our fans. I mean, you guys have been fabulous with us all year. I appreciate it. We have... Uh, you know, we haven't won a whole lot for you here, but we got a neat group of guys as I think you're going to be excited watching them grow up and get older together. And I'm proud of our group. We fought and battled and gave ourselves a chance. That's a old experienced team that made winning plays because we're not used to making them yet, but we'll get there someday. John Mooney, unbelievable career high, 20 rebounds, career high, five assists, 18 points. 19th double-double. He has more double-doubles in conference play since the mid-90s when a guy named Tim Duncan had two more. Yeah, the, what he's doing is just flat-out amazing. And, you know, the neat thing about him is he'll come back as a senior and an All-American candidate. And if you would have said that about Johnny Mooney as a freshman, I don't think anybody would have believed that. But Bonzi Colson was on that track and Luke Heron So we're, we're really proud of him. And you know, we, we, that's, that's as good as we got right there. That's as good as we got. Our crowd was helping us, and, uh, you know, we just couldn't make enough offensive plays. I told you we always score 61. Yeah. We scored 62 tonight. <laughs> yeah. But even that wasn't enough. I mean, our defense was fine, 64 points, and our D's been pretty good all year. We can't get that thing off. We can't get that thing above 61, 62, 63, and story of our life. Coach, certainly talking about some of the young guys. Got Dane Goodwin back into double figures tonight. Showed a little bit more aggression on the offensive end. What did you see from him tonight? Well, I, I thought, and he needs to finish strong, and I thought it was great for him. He, he got really extended minutes because of our, our stuff, and he was aggressive with things, driving, and I still think he turned down a couple shots, and we're going to keep working with him on that. But, you know, again, with the personnel that we have moving forward, he's going to play. What did he play tonight? 38? He's probably playing 38 in Pittsburgh. You only get better when playing it by you play. Was well, senior night tonight. You let Liam Nelligan became the first walk-on to start for you. Senior managers, of course, great. And he didn't get to walk out on the floor before the game. But a legend worked his last game here tonight. Yeah. And Skip Meyer, your 40-year trainer, has decided that he will retire coming up in August. Well, we just made a presentation to him in there. 40 years and a number of young people that he's worked with and helped. And he's been my right hand and my trainer for 19 years. I'm going to miss him. He's a pro, but um, it's time. He was able to capitalize on the university's early retirement program. He'll be with us through August 31st, so he'll help with the transition. But um, truly, uh, uh, you know, he is the last Moose Kraus hire in the department. Did you wow. know that? I did not know that. He is the last one that was hired when Moose was uh, running things. So it kind of tells you uh, what he's seen. And if he writes a book, it'd be unbelievable. <laughs> you still have at least two games left. Yeah. Regular season ends Saturday in Pittsburgh. Two teams really looking for a win. Two teams really dying for one, no question about it. And, you know, if you could get one, it would be give you a little momentum for Tuesday in Charlotte. But, you know, it, it, it's hard. It, it, whoever we play is a struggle. Doesn't matter what their record is, who they are. And um, I just, I told our guys, I said, look, can we play the same way and be in the same position on Saturday afternoon? And, and maybe we'll grow and make some more plays. That's at the end. We just haven't been able to do that. I'm not sure we'll be able to do it yet this year, but we're going to keep trying. Mike, thank you. Thank you.